Hi, I'm Joe Tanzen. And I'm Dean Ford. <laughs> we're, we're here today live uh, at the Village Recorder, um, a studio that's got a lot of history. Uh, people like Bob Dylan have recorded here, Eric Clapton, the Rolling Stones, Alison Krauss, Alison Krauss, uh, Fleetwood Mac, you name it, they've been here. Dean and I have known each other for about 30 years now, and uh, we've recently put out a, a new music video, a song called The Glasgow Road. When I had nothing left to show It's about my cousin Jim, who um, is about a year younger than me, and after the Second World War, his father died in Scotland, and his mother went to Wales and remarried again, and for 40 years she never told him they had any family in Scotland until she was like almost on her deathbed and uh, he got very angry with her when he, when he found out that he had family there and she never, she never said a word about it and uh, I think that's why it turned out so good because it's really about somebody For those of you who uh, aren't familiar with Dean uh, and, and myself, well, you, you'll learn a little bit about us today. Uh, Dean used to uh, be in a group called the Marmalade. The changing of sunlight to moonlight reflections of my life. Reflections of my life was had that kind of same thing about it. It was. Um, it was melancholy, it was sad, but it was still hopeful. Los Angeles in 1976 and uh, I wound up playing with the group Badfinger. I've known Dean for about 30 years now and you know, we both share a passion for uh, great music. So we've kept up this friendship for a very long time you know and we decided to put this song out you know on a on a video, it's the Glasgow Road because it was so good. Hit me with your saddest song. Tell me lies till the cows come home. I know where I belong. Sometimes the best songs come out of nowhere. They're the ones that you don't really have to try to write. It's it's really about trying recording something that's timeless, you know, so that the sound is timeless. And you play it ten years later and it doesn't sound like dated, you know. And what about the tambourine? Ah, oh, there's an interesting story about that tambourine. A mutual friend of Dean and mine came over to my house one day and he brought a present. And uh, he hands me this tambourine that happened to one time belong to Bob Dylan. And it looks great in the video, by the way, because it's all rusted out and the, the symbols on it are all rusted. Yeah, and it's, not, it's not really a very practical tambourine. It doesn't sound as that great, you know, it's just... It Bob just looks Dylan, cool. Bob Dylan's tambourine. Yeah. So, so if you watch this, Bob, and you want your tambourine back, I'd be more than happy to meet you someplace and give it to you. Yeah. 